somebody is diagnosed with an MPN, there are a variety of tests that are important for um, coming up with treatment strategies. And so really before starting treatment, it's, it's fairly imperative to have a CBC or a complete blood count, which was very likely done, um, you know, that led to the diagnosis of the MPN, but that's very critical, as well as having a differential uh, this is basically just looking a little bit deeper at the white blood cells and, and their components. So that's a critical part of the CBC or the complete blood count. And then having a chemistry panel just to look at organ functioning, such as the kidney functioning and the liver functioning, as well as different electrolytes that may be um, indicative of, of something going on that would maybe impact treatment. Additionally, having a bone marrow biopsy with molecular testing is advised. Uh, this is very critical in leading to the diagnosis of the um, MPN and then also really differentiating what subtype of MPN a patient may have. The bone marrow is very critical for this purpose and the genetic testing helps us to understand perhaps if, if a patient is having a higher risk disease or a lower risk disease um, and can help guide treatment as well. There are a variety of other chemistry tests that are done that can help specifically when looking at patients with polycythemia vera. This may be called an erythropoietin level. Additionally, iron studies are generally recommended before starting treatment for MPNs just to assess iron storage availability um, and, and, and that sort of component to the uh, treatment may, may vary depending on that result. Additionally, if patients are having any sort of symptoms related to an enlarged spleen, generally having an imaging study may be warranted if the symptom is, is quite severe and causing problems, um, and, and getting a baseline prior to starting treatment is generally a good idea. When looking at a CBC, there are really three main cell lines that we monitor closely in MPNs, regardless of the subtype. And this includes the white blood cell count, the red blood cell count, or hemoglobin and hematocrit, those are measures of the total red blood cell count, and then also platelets. And so these really are three different types of cells that your bone marrow produces that help with different functions. And so monitoring for any sort of changes within these three cell lines, white blood cells, red blood cells, or platelets, can really help us know maybe how the disease is changing, how a patient is responding to treatment. So these three key uh, laboratory values are, are very necessary and really help us as providers and you as patients monitor progress um, or for any changes in a positive way or perhaps in a way that needs to be addressed. Mm -hmm.